Hey, 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 what's going on, YouTube? BD Kane 721. Happy Friday morning. Hope everybody had a great week and looking forward to the weekend. It's been a tremendously busy week for me. I just haven't had a lot of time to uh, catch up with the hobby and catch up with my uh, my purchases and the mail days and you know all those types of things that are happening. So I apologize for uh, not putting out that much content for those of you that follow my channel, but I'm going to try my best to do a little better. Uh, today I'm going to catch up with some mail on the purple set and also open up the package I have in front of you that is from my good friend JT over at TripleCon24. Bought a couple, well, well, I really bought one card from his eBay store, but I think there might be two cards in there. And I'll give you that story when I open it. Uh, like I said, been a busy week. Uh, there's possible news happening in my personal life in the next couple of months. I could be moving, if you can believe that or not. I never thought I would say that, that I would move from San Diego, such a such an awesome place here. Uh, but there's a job opportunity that I'm investigating, and I could possibly be on my way out, heading to Northern California uh, for a job change. But Still in the preliminary stages of it, I just wanted to alert everyone to that because I, I may not be making a lot of content in the next few weeks while I'm investigating that. So, otherwise, let's go over some cards. That's what this is all about, right? It's a hobby. It's 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 with the hobby that we all love. So let's see where I'm at with this Topps Chrome Purple. Here's what I've got in hand so far. I just looked up before I started recording. I have 44 cards that have either been bought or traded for. This is what I have in hand. There's still some cards that are coming in the mail. And there's a couple of cards that are sitting in my ComC account, which I won't see for a very long time, unfortunately, but technically in my possession. So 44 cards. I have about, I don't know, 35 of them, 30 to 35 of them here. Um, and I did receive one big card in the mail just the other day. I was pretty excited to get it because it cost a lot of money and I wanted to get it in the collection before I could never get it again. The old Mike Trout. Purple, number to 299 So good to get this into the collection. Uh, I'm gonna, I spent more on this card than I have spent on any Mike Trout for any set over the years. So I'm a little nervous about that. I'm a little bit uh, depressed about it because that just means that all the other stars that are in the set are going to cost the same or more. Uh, a YouTuber gave me good advice just the other day about these cards like this where they end up, I'm going to put this up on the stage here, uh, where they end up either in somebody's collection and never for sale or they're sealed away in boxes and cases that people are holding on to and you just never see them for sale so you might as well get them now even if you have to pay a little extra money so that's what i did on the trout that's what i'm going to probably have to do on the other cards as well and i'm just going to have to live with it you know if you if you're trying to save 40 or 50 dollars because you think the prices are too high it may end up hurting you in the in the long run so Let's rip into the package I got from JT. I'm sorry I did not open it up before I went on camera. So let's go ahead and do that without damaging the cards, hopefully. Knowing JT, he packages things so well, I won't have any worry about that. Let's go ahead and get this open. There we go. Now I bought a card off of his um, his store on eBay because I just have I always check his store every week or so just to see what kind of new things he's got up there. And I came across a card that I didn't have in one of my piece side PCs, and so I messaged him and asked him if he had any asked him if he had any room on it, and he said he did. And then we got talking a little bit, and I think there was another card that he threw into the deal without without increasing the price, which, again, just another reason why I love making deals with JT. He's so kind to all of us out here in, our, in the community. 
I highly recommend him. I'm going to put his his the link to his channel below so you can go check him out. So the card that he threw in was this Manny Machado uh, Green Bowman, I guess. It might have a different name to it, but it's numbered at a 399. It's a Machado that I don't have yet. It's a 2021 card. So he was gracious enough to throw that into the deal. The card that I saw on his store that I didn't have of Fernando Tatis is this beauty. It's one of those, I think you, I, I think you call it a mega box. It's from the mega boxes or the mega mojo or something along those lines. Uh, you can see the shine on this is really awesome. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it look any better. But it's numbered out of 250. It's called the purple version. I have the base of this. But this is the ready for the show Bowman Chrome from 2019. Pretty awesome card. Numbered out of 250. Wanted to get that into my collection. So thank you, JT, for that. Really appreciate the deal on that that you gave me. Quick shipping, of course. And that's about it, guys, for a Friday morning. Six minutes into the video. I probably wasted too much of your time already. So hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up. And I will catch you next week. I've got an exciting week coming after probably Monday or Tuesday because I'm expecting some Topps Chrome from 2021 coming in, but in the sealed box form. I'm going to be opening up opening up some boxes next week of Topps Chrome. Didn't think I was going to do that this year, but I decided to take the plunge since the prices have come down quite a bit and open up some boxes for you guys on camera. So look out for those videos and have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. See you.